My aim each week is to bring a new video to you with a whole bunch of new questions. So if you're in the market to buy a house anytime soon, then please feel free to look back on the previous videos. Please feel free to ask any questions. So this week we have Abby from Leeds asking, is it possible to get a mortgage on a fixed term contract? I have just been offered a position but hesitant to take it as it is not a permanent position. So Abby, what we're looking at there is you need experience in that fixed term contract. So commonly more than 12 months of previously being in a fixed term contract. There are some times where you've gone from a job being employed full time for a, a number of years and then going into a fixed term contract in an identical job and that can sometimes be okay. But if you're going from one sector to another or one role to a different role, traditionally we're going to need more than 12 months in experience in a fixed term contract and if you're being offered a new fixed term contract we can easily get you a mortgage so hopefully that helps uh, abby from leeds thank you for the question next we've got dominica from edinburgh my partner already owns a property and we want to buy one together and still keep this property will i still be considered as a first-time buyer and so I can use the bonus from my help to buy Isa. I wasn't actually too sure on the answer to that question, Dominica. So I asked an associate of mine from uh, Clancy's solicitors and estate agents. Uh, so I spoke to Paul and he said, yes, you will still be considered as a first time buyer. And therefore you will still get the bonus on your help to buy Isa. So Dominica, I hope that helps and you'll get a lot of bonus from the government. So happy days. Paul from Dunbar. Now, uh, Paul is, is self-employed. Uh, he's had a massive dip in his income in his last year, COVID-related, presumably. But my income has now gone up again, but obviously I can't show a self-assessment for this year yet. Uh, is there any way to include my current income in an application so I can borrow more? Yes, in a sense. Uh, a lot of lenders, they're not ignoring what's happened during COVID, but they're looking at the past history. So if you just set up a business and then COVID hit and then, you know, lockdown's gone away and you've started to trade again, but only, you know, you'd only just started trading again sort of idea, they're not going to consider you. But let's say you have a, a history of 50k a year net profit for the last three years uh, we, we've seen the obvious dip during COVID and then we can have a look at your, your, your order book, your diary or whatever at the moment and, and, and your income that's coming in just now. Lenders will take a view on each case on its own merits. So Paul, potentially yes, absolutely. We could look at that further for you. We've got Mark from Fife. My wife is due to go back to work from maternity next month and we are looking to start uh, to buy a house. Should we start the process now or wait six months or even more? Start the process now. We have clients who are on maternity at the moment. They've had their return to work appointment with their employer or they can confirm already what they will be going back to work on. So if wife was full time uh, pre maternity and she's going back on full time, we can take that even before she's back to work. Uh, if she's going back on part-time, then we'll take the part-time hours. That is not a problem. So, Mark, there's no delay required. Crack on, absolutely. Uh, start looking straight away. Panos from Glasgow. So, how to choose a solicitor for a first-time buyer? I would always go on a recommendation. Always, always, always speak to someone who has used a company maybe once, maybe twice, in the past. Now, we work closely with the solicitors and estate agents, so you know, I'm ha happy to make a recommendation, a company that we've used literally hundreds of times for our clients. So happy to make a recommendation, but if you're going on a recommendation from someone else, 
make sure that that person has actually used this firm and used them recently. Uh, and I, I would just do some research online as well. Do not be led by price. That is the worst possible thing you can do is be led by price. So always be led by the level of service. Be led by price on certain things, absolutely. But when it comes to a solicitor, uh, then never be led by price because I've seen it so many times where someone saved themselves £100 by going with a solicitor just because it's been quoted £100 less and it's been a, an absolute nightmare. So always go on recommendation and, and service levels and Google reviews and all the rest of it. So yeah, uh, that's how I would choose. Uh, Thomas from Edinburgh. When is the best time to buy a house in the year? That's a good question, Thomas. I suppose it depends on your own personal circumstances. But for me, the best time to buy is when you're ready to buy. Uh, and, and when you're right, ready to buy, it could be any time in the year, when you've got your deposit together, when you're moving out of a certain previous accommodation, that sort of thing. But there's not really, you know, it all becomes relative throughout the year. You know, when there's less property on the market, maybe at winter time, for example, there's tends to be less buyers when there's more property in the market traditionally in the summer months and you know spring and summer months there's there's more buyers so it all becomes fairly relative for me i would become an expert in the market that you want to buy in so i would always be on right move i would always be on the espc or whatever the the the, the relative spc uh is and keep your eye on the market all the time because something will come up. So get yourself mortgage ready. So speak to a mortgage broker, get yourself mortgage ready. When I talk about mortgage ready, it's making sure that you've got a decision and principle approved. It's up to date, you know, that sort of thing. Your pay slips are ready to go. Your bank statements are always ready to go or readily accessible. And just be ready because, because when the right one comes up, you need to be ready to go for it. Uh, so I would say there's no best time in the year, it's when it suits you and always just keep yourself ready. But get familiar with the market that you're in, you'll see how quickly, so let's say you're looking for a two bed, a flat apartment in Musselburgh, that's where we are based. Just keep your eye on the market all the time, you'll get to see what's going on, how quickly it sells for, you'll get to check in a few months later what it's sold for. Uh, you can speak to the estate agents that are selling it, you know, how many notes of interest does it have, you know, how popular is it, these sorts of things. Again, I can help you, if, if you want to take that uh, conversation any further, I can delve into it a little bit more. So, I think really that's all our questions for the week. So thank you again to Abby, Dominica, Paul, Mark, Panos and Tamas for your questions. If you've got any questions at all property related, purchase related, selling related, mortgage related, then either I, I will have the answer or I will be able to get the answer. And if you would like to see anybody else on the Bearded Broker Live, then please put the comments uh, below and we'll, you know, if you want to see a solicitor on, uh, an estate agent, uh, a surveyor, then, you know, just, just, just let us know. So thanks again for tuning in.